This is the NBC Television Network. This is our returning champion, Richard Heft, from Van Nuys, California. Stand by to see Richard play for a Cadillac valued at $26,583. Today, on America's biggest bargain sale, we're offering a Cadillac valued at $26,583 for $420. A cash jackpot of $81,000 for $510. Welcome to Sale of the Century, and this could be a very big day on Sale of the Century. Our returning champion, this is where he stands. A win today. Jay mentioned that lovely car. He wins a win with just $27, and he'd have that. However, if he won big today, $117, and he could walk away, if he'd like, with that cash jackpot of $81,000. Big day for this champion, Richard Heft. Richard, nice to see you again. Always love to be back to it would take a big win for you to get to the 117, but you're certainly capable of it. Uh, well, with a few miracles, perhaps. Oh, you're doing well. Are you ready to go today? I uh, sure am. Good luck. And here to introduce the challengers, as always, Lee Menning. A vision is still... <laughs> the colors Sorry, will go guys. jumping all over the place. <laughs> Who do you have for us today? Our first contestant, while at her senior prom, lost half of her dress from Los Angeles, California. Let's welcome Gail Teller. Hello, Gail. Sorry about that, Gail. Our second contestant has the largest collection of business cards in the world from Rossmore, California. Let's welcome Dave Dickstein. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. See you a little later, Lee. The largest collection of business cards in the world. Now, that how many do you have, and how do you know it's the largest? <laughs> well, it's about 70,000 different cards, and uh, I've met a lot of collectors, but it seems like I'm way ahead of the rest. I would think so. What do you intend to do with this when you have it all done? Well, um, I'd like to get into a record book. In fact, I have the smallest card in the world, but I can't find it. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> you definitely did. You've got a good sense of humor. And Gail, I hope you had a good sense of humor when you lost <laughs> half of your dress. What happened? Well... I was at a, an after-prom party, actually, and my sister was sitting on oh, the floor, really? and I was standing above, and she said, Gail, I have a question for you, and pulled up my dress, which was elasticized over the top, and it went down to my waist, and I was a bit <laughs> shocked that I kind of stood there for 15 seconds. <laughs> A little embarrassing. I would think so. A little. Did everybody applaud, or were they all the Actually, time? I'm not sure they really noticed. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure which Gail, is more embarrassing. It's nice to have you here as well. Thank you. You know how we do it. I'll ask questions. If you answer correctly, we'll add $5 to your total. Answer incorrectly, we'll subtract $5. Play with the most money at the end of the show as a champion. Gets to do some great shopping. Richard is just $27 away from that luxury car. Dave and Gail trying to stop him. Dave, let's get you used to your buzzer, if you will. And Gail is next with hers. Finally, the champion who has hit his a lot hits it once again. $20 across the board. Good luck to all three of you. We start with this. The kings of ancient Egypt had a special name. Richard. Pharaohs. Pharaoh is exactly right. First five of the champion of 25. Name the TV crime series in which three sexy female detectives, Gail. Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels is right. You've got your first five. You're at 25. In American literature, who was the boyfriend of Minnie Ha Ha? Richard, right to know after, after the bell on that with the judge? We, we, you're wrong with the bell, so you have the opportunity to answer it. Do you know it? Hiawatha. Hiawatha is right. Yes, we had to check with the judge to see if you're on time. You've got another five. What north-central state boasts cities named Rockford, Kankakee, and Decatur? Gail. Illinois. Illinois is right. Just beating Dave to the buzzer. And you are again in a tie with Richard. What nut is produced by oak trees? Dave. Acorn. Acorn is exactly right. Your first five. You're 25, Dave. And now for decent bargain. Player in the lead always has the opportunity for some great bargain merchandise. Gail and Richard, you are in a tie at $30 with a $5 lead over Dave. Only one of you can have this. So when you hear the low sale of the century price, hit your buzzer, and this is yours. For the latest in cooking accessories, a selection of appliances, a coffee maker and mill, a mini peamer, juicer, blender, grinder, and shredder, furnished by Gallant Friedman. Normally priced at $514. All this is yours today for just $6 on sale of the century. Terrific. $514 worth of appliances for just $6. And only one of you can have it. I don't see you hitting the buzzers. I'd love for one of you to have that. If I gave you $100 in cash, would you hit it? Tempting. No. Tempting. 
Oh, Gail, <laughs> maybe we'd help you with the dress as well. One time only. Either one of you, hit that buzzer. $300 in cash, making an eight. Yeah, we'll take it. $814 bargain for just six dollars. I hope you'll enjoy that, Gail. Of course, we take I'm the six dollars off your score. You're down to 24 and trail Dave by one dollar. Back with all three players. Who played Edith Dingbat Bunker on Richard? Gene Stapleton. Gene Stapleton is exactly right on all of the families. I didn't know Dingbat was your middle name. What color is a ruby? Hey, red. Red, just beating Richard with the buzzer. He's up to $30. According to the famous quote by philosopher George Santayana, those who cannot remember the past... Are doomed to relive it. Yes, we'll accept that or, or condemn to repeat it. And if you're the one acceptable, you've got another five. You're up to 40. Fame game now. $10 money card up there somewhere with control of this. Who am I? I was born in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania in 1943. I starred on the University of Alabama team that won the 1964 national championship. In 1965, I joined the New York Jets and was named AFL. Dave? Namath. Namath, Joe Namath it is. Yes, Namath, Namath. You got it. <laughs> Let's see what we've got up there. Today we have Gary Berghoff. From the play Boney Kern. Joyce DeWitt. Freeze Company. Daniel Travant. Hill Street Blues. Donna Mills. Knott's Landing. Tommy John. California Angels. Dear Hall. Days of Our Lives. Roger Mudd. NBC News. Dorothy Lyman. All My Children. And Skip Stevenson. From Real People. Now behind eight of those famous faces, there are prizes. Behind one of them, a money card worth $10. First time, Dave. I'm a big Angel fan, but I think I will take Skip Stevenson. And behind Skip Stevenson, we have the lovely fashions for the lady in your life. James Ken Rob's glamorous interchangeable separates in warm colors and soft shaping fabrics. Packable and ready to travel. Look made fashions furnished by James Ken Rob collection by Dalton. $400 worth. Yours to keep no matter how you finish in the game. I'm not sure if I understood that logic. I'm an Angel fan, but I'll take Skip Stevenson. I didn't know he pitched for the Angels. We're going to add a $15 money card as well. Next crack of the fame game board. Right now, please watch the here, where the score is Dave, $30, Gale, the 24, and Richard, the champion, at $40. This question. In the 15th century, the royal families of England became embroiled in a bloody struggle to determine the rightful claimant to the throne. These, Richard? The Wars of the Roses? That's exactly what it is. Another five for Richard. Uh, snow time. Ain't no time to sit around and spoon, so shine on, sh Richard? Shine on Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon. That's what should shine on. Another five for Richard. He's up to 50. How many furlongs are there in a mile? There are eight furlongs in a mile. Don't spend any time at the racetrack, huh? <laughs> the pith and stems of a tall sedge plant of North Africa were used to make a type of paper in ancient Egypt. Gail. Papyrus. Papyrus is right. Gail with another five. She's up to 29. Instant bargain time now. And Richard, you have a $20 lead over Dave. Can we interest you in this? Botany 500 fashions for the gentleman. A distinctive suit to fit almost every lifestyle. Tailored with fine American craftsmanship. Furnished by Botany 500. And for an added surprise, four $100 bills are stuffed in the pockets. Normally priced at $660, it can be yours today for just $10. On sale of the century. Well, that's very interesting. Now, just leave the money there, David. Don't go hiding it. Don't go running off the money. <laughs> $660 with just $10, and you have a $20 lead, Richard. Sell it, give her eight. I know you've got tough decisions to make, but I'm going to make them tougher for you. I will sell you that for $6. Going once, going twice, no sale. Hanging on to that $20 lead, and Dave's sitting there going, Oh, I wish he had bought that. This question, what kind of animal is an Angora? A rabbit. A rabbit, cat, goat, matter of fact, they're all Angoras. You've got another five. On a road map, what is the abbreviation DLVD? Dave? Boulevard. Boulevard, that's what it means, and Dave is another five. Name the strait that separates Spain from Africa. Hail. Magellan. No, no. That's the strait of Gibraltar. You lose a valuable five dollars down to 29. In the well known tongue twister, what did Peter Piper pick? Dave? A peck of pickled peppers. You said it so good. We'll give you another five. Down to 40. Yes. And now the champions lead. Some members of our studio audience and some departing contestants will receive new clean and clear leaves, no dulling residue. It's the no-rinse cleaner for a clearly beautiful floor and rubber-made microwave cookware, the ultimate microwave cookware because nothing else stacks up to it. Plus Spencer's infants and children's wear, 15-piece layette set for every baby need. Spencer's growing up with children for over 50 years. And Chiko-san, unique natural food because it's the imported Japanese organic tamari-style soy sauce. And nutritious rice cakes, only from Chiko-san, the rice cake people.